<laughs> Myself and other locals are curious to know what's going to go into that Whitcall store. Is it going to be something different? Or is it going to be more of the same? And on the whole, do we have the balance right here in Queenstown? Do we have enough diverse shops around? I think it's a drop all time. <laughs> what do you reckon is going to go into this Whitcomb shop? I have no idea. Oh, I don't know. Maybe another gift shop? Another restaurant? Bar? The one where you call me uh, dumpster diving. <laughs> yeah. Dumpster diving. Dumpster diving. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon is going to go in there? Uh, don't know. Surely you know what's going in there. You don't. I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't either. I, look, what's happened there is uh, Wickles have um, ha have moved out of town. They've been here a long time, but I think that's a function of that of that particular business. And obviously, a large site comes with a large rent. The rents down on the street are up over one thousand five hundred per square meter. <laughs> so if you've got a shop of a hundred square meters. Imagine the rent. What you're seeing is uh, a restriction of supply which is pushing up rents to, in some cases, $2,000 a square metre. And that means that there is only a certain type of operator that is going to be able to sustain that sort of a business. So, you know, when you get a site like that back, it's an opportunity for a landlord to, to re um, remodel the site, which is what they've done. They're splitting it in two. Do you have the intel to say, is it going to be something different or something the same. Oh, look, I mean, I'm not going to discuss uh, what <laughs> what uh, we uh, talk to uh, the owners about, but um, they, they understand that they have a responsibility to, um, you know, ensure that, uh, you know, the mix is, is mm. right down there. Do you reckon we've got the business spread right here, or do we have a lot of the same stores? I reckon about travel agencies there's a lot of the same. There's a lot of franchises. Probably way too many uh, chain stores that you get in every other town in New Zealand. All the small businesses have been put out. The mm. rents have got too high. The only people that can do it are chain stores. Yeah, it just seems like it's geared for the tourists. You know yeah. what I mean? So currently, do we have the mix right? Uh, I don't think so. So who typically snaps up these in-town leases? Oh, look, I mean, you know, there's always this good demand from international uh, fashion is, is, is also very common. You know, um, Beach Street certainly established itself uh, as a more of a fashion location in recent years. There's a bit of fast fashion happening mm -hmm. in that street and fast fashion. <laughs> Um, which is, you know, the, it's the kind of Glassons, Helen Stein type... Um, chain stores. Yeah, nothing wrong with chain stores. Mm. Um, you know, some of them, uh, they're, they're a good offering as part of the mix in the town centre. Township is mainly all the tourists mm. and they're here to do bungee jumping and the urns law and... And so you work for the shop? Yeah, have troubles. Yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon there's too much of these guys around town? I don't know. It depends on if there's enough customers. Customers yeah. keep coming. There's a demand, isn't there? Yeah. Tourism's your biggest industry here, though, isn't it? True. We are a tourist town, so we'll always attract other types of retail, um, providing, say, services for tourism around booking offices, um, activity businesses. They seem to like, you know, if you look at somewhere like Shotover Street, it's very much about that. It's literally like four blocks in Queenstown, and there's so many shops like Footwise, uh, tourism shops, a lot of shops focus on the Asian market. You know, one of the issues has been around booking um, agencies going into, into uh, the town centre, mm -hmm. and we've had some discussions about that with landlords, and I think the message has definitely been um, put out there that too many of them is too much mm. and uh, there is a need for that offering but we don't want to see the town saturated by that sort of things. What would you like to see go in there? Maybe maybe a southern food restaurant. Don't know, I mean it would be good if there was a stationery store. Hmm. Well I was sad to see what calls go. Because right now there's no stationery store in the middle of town. <laughs> oh so you want it to go back in? No. <laughs> Yes, that was a wonderful shop. Mm. 
So the change of base in Queenstown is, is up for discussion. This is a great conversation for Queenstown. Mm -hmm. It's a very good process. It's probably one of the best I've ever seen. And it's allowing uh, people who live here to say, you know, this is what we want our town centre to be like. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a desire from the council, funding agencies and government to and private enterprise to, yeah. to find the money to, to, to make this happen. Can people still you know, put a, put forth their their ideas, or is that is that closed now? Uh, that closes tomorrow. There you go. You got one more day. One more day. <laughs> so, what's going into the uh, old Whitcall store? Well, it seems like nobody actually knows. Well, people do know. But they're not going to tell us. So, from our straw poll, we found out that people actually just want a, another stationery store there. How ironic. <laughs> this is Lauren Preble out for LWB TV. Maybe we should. Queenstown News. Oh, we could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'd be great, <laughs> wouldn't we? Tonight. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> What's our leading headline, Steve? <clears throat> Town centre reshaped in a glorious way. <laughs> and also. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've got I've got blank screens right there. I feel like I'm gonna be like Ron Burgundy. <laughs>